What's up guys and welcome to this video where we will be discussing Shang Tsung's brand new third variation which is called Soul Eater. So NRS has created a new variation for Shang Tsung which utilizes all of his ninja moves and in exchange you get all of these new attacks with his ninjas and you lose all of your old moves with Shang except for the straight skull. So everything you used to have like corpse drop all the moves like that are gone but you get access to reptile slide Smokes Parry Projectile Shake, Reigns at Roundhouse, and Ermax Lift. You get these four moves in combination with Shang's standard moveset and his straight ground skull. The cool thing is all these separate ninja skills have their own crushing blows. Reigns is pretty interesting. In order to activate the crushing blow on it, you need to cancel his roundhouse and then immediately go for another one. And if you do it properly, it'll activate the crushing blow. For Ermax Lift Crushing Blow, you need to do it and then your opponent has to block late into it and then that'll trigger the crushing blow on the meter burn part. For smokes parry crushing blow you have to successfully parry two moves in a row and then on the second parry it'll activate a crushing blow. And for reptiles crushing blow you simply have just have to hit the slide from its full screen distance and then on meter burn it'll crushing blow. So to demonstrate this I'll have Kano do a back dash into a high projectile and you can see that it synergizes pretty well when you're trying to go under something like a projectile. And the reason that works is Shang Tsung, when he goes into Reptile Slide, he enters a crouch animation, which is perfect for getting around a projectile if you read your opponent may throw one. If you notice a trend here, Shang also has a shake, which can counter projectiles as well. So this variation may be something you would you want to try if you're struggling in a matchup with a lot of zoning. For Shang's other two variations, you may want to give this one a try because you do have the slide, which can be used to go through projectiles on reads and his smoke parry which can be used to negate all zoning. And in conjunction with Shing's moves, you can do a combo like this which is just a simple sample. Any string into roundhouse that connects and use another bar for Ermax lift and then you can end in slide and this will do close to 40%. You can apply this combo off any string that works into roundhouse so something like this would also work. And even though this is two bars, you do get a decent amount of damage for it, so if you're going to win the round off of it, I would definitely go for it. And it's definitely something to consider if you want a more damaging option. Now this variation is pretty interesting. Because the way that it works is Shang loses his great neutral moves, like his ground eruption, some of his zoning, and he loses his corpse drop. But in exchange, he gets better ways to deal with anti-zoning, and he gets some better ways to convert into full combos. So with... A pressure concept is let's say your opponent's blocking his roundhouse is minus nine on block and when you meter burn it, it only comes out on hit so you don't have to worry about pressing the meter burn button and losing the meter on block it'll only come out on hit for you so if you hit your opponent you'll always get the launch as long as you have a bar and off some strings the roundhouse can be hard to punish because of the pushback so depending on the matchup and the opponent if they don't have a jab that reaches or a poke that reaches that's faster than 9 frames, they won't be able to punish this. So this can be useful in some matchups. Lift can also be used as sort of a spacing tool for whiff punishing because it does have some deceptive range. It hits further than it looks. So this can be used for whiff punishing. And of course you have shake and slide to help you get in on some matchups and deal with some character zoning. Let me know what you guys think of this variation. I think it's awesome that NRS has given Shang Tsung this because... This has probably been the heaviest requested variation for Shang Tsung. So many people wanted his ninjas to be tournament legal. And I know a lot of people were upset in the beginning when Shang was released. And it turns out all of his cool ninja moves were locked into customs. And there wasn't a way to use them competitively. But now that's changed because NRS has given all the Shang players the ninja moves available to, to be used in tournament. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Shang Tsung's new Soul Eater variation. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos coming on the rest of the cast.